Press, the company responsible for the Olympic security fiasco, tonight stands accused of ripping off the taxpayer by tens of millions of pounds. They charged for tagging offenders in England and Wales who were either in prison, dead, or simply never existed. G4S is now facing a possible criminal investigation after the government reported them to the Serious Fraud Office. The Justice Secretary called the company's actions indefensible. Our UK editor Lucy Manning reports. Another former teacher from the world-famous Cheatham School of Music in Manchester has been arrested on suspicion of sexually assaulting a pupil. The assault allegedly happened in the late 1970s when the girl was 15. A correspondent, Martin Geisler, travelled to the United States for this exclusive report. The sound of his beloved drums echoed through the streets of Bury today in honour of drummer Lee Rigby. To the applause of onlookers, colleagues from his regiment escorted drummer Rigby's coffin to the church where his funeral will take place tomorrow. Damon Green reports. Still to come, no more A&E. Those stories and more when we come back. Welcome back. The government today confirmed that the a and &E unit at one of the country's most historic hospitals is to close. But the closure at Trafford Hospital, regarded as the birthplace of the NHS, could be repeated elsewhere. A report by NHS England says a massive reorganisation of services is urgently needed. Here's our medical editor, Lawrence McGinty. Six environmental activists have been attempting to scale the Shard Tower in London. And finally, what does the name Ashton Agar mean to you? Well, before today, it would have brought a blank stare from almost everyone. Now, though, the 19-year-old Australian has transformed the first Ashes test and made cricket history in the process. Our sports editor, Steve Scott, reports. That's at 10 for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.